Don't invest before watching this video. I'm going to talk through investment options and their pros and cons. Are you confused about where to put your savings to make them grow faster? Are you looking forward to creating a retirement portfolio? Have you been worried about the high inflation eating into your income? If the answer is yes, keep watching the video until the end. When it comes to creating wealth, saving is not enough. You need to invest your money in suitable ways to earn higher returns. There are a large number of investment options which can confuse a new investor. It can be a cumbersome task to select the right investment option that suits your needs and your risk-taking capabilities. Let's look at the most common investment options along with their pros and cons. High Yield Savings Accounts These accounts pay a much higher rate of interest compared to regular bank accounts. Interest paid by high yield savings accounts can be as high as 5% depending on the tenure. Currently, we are experiencing a very high inflation rate, which has reached as high as 10.1% in the UK. A high yield savings account can protect the value of your savings to a great extent when inflation is running high. Currently, some of the best high yield savings accounts are Number 1. Five year fixed rate savings accounts by Gatehouse Bank. It pays an interest rate of 5.1%. Number 2. Five year fixed rate savings accounts by Close Brothers Savings. It pays an interest rate of 5.05%. Number 3. Four year fixed rate savings accounts by Gatehouse Banks. It pays an interest rate of 5.05%. Number 4. Four year fixed rate savings accounts by United Trust Bank. It pays an interest rate of 4.85%. Pros of high yield savings accounts. Higher interest rates compare to regular bank accounts. Safer investment option. Doesn't need much investment knowledge. Simple process. Cons of high yield savings accounts. Come with a lock-in period. Interest rates may not be enough to protect against very high inflation. Stocks. Stocks are fragments of ownership of business firms. Stocks can be highly profitable investment options for investors who are willing to take a little more risk. Investors with a long-term view can invest in quality stocks to maximize gain. In the last 10 years, the stock market in the UK has provided an annualized return of about 7.4%. You should look for companies with a strong balance sheet, low debt, growing market share, excellent management, etc. before investing. You can invest in stock in two ways. Firstly, open an account with a stockbroker and directly invest in stocks. You can open an account with a broker online and start investing easily. Some of the prominent online brokers in the UK are IG, Interactive Brokers, eToro, XTB, Free Trade. If you invest in stocks on your own, you can save on fees to be paid to investment firms. However, investing in stocks on your own can be risky and requires careful study and analysis of stocks. Secondly, invest in stocks through a professional investment fund. In this option, your money is professionally managed and invested by investment firms. Therefore, you will get professional guidance and risk management. However, you will have to pay fees and other charges. Some of the top investment funds are Number 1. Fundsmith Equity Number 2. Vanguard Life Strategy Number 3. Vanguard U.S. Equity Index Number 4. Vanguard Life Strategy 100% Equity Number 5. Vanguard FTSE Global All Cap Index. Not all stocks are equals. Different stocks have different risk levels and different return potentials. Some common types of stocks are value stocks. These are the companies with very strong fundamentals. These stocks can provide very high returns in the long run. Blue chip stocks. These stocks belong to highly established firms with high reputations. Blue chip stocks are relatively safe options for new investors, examples, big banks or financial service companies. Growth stocks. These stocks tend to provide high returns because of their industry type. For example, technology stocks. These stocks also tend to have high risk. High dividend yield stocks. These stocks provide a high amount of dividends year after year. These stocks provide relatively safe returns to investors. Defensive stocks. These stocks tend to perform well even during economic downturns as they belong to essential industries like utilities and pharmaceuticals. Pros of investing in stocks. The potential return is very high relative to other investment options. 
there are a large number of stocks to suit the need of different investors, highly suitable for long-term investors. Cons of investing in stocks. High risks. Returns are not consistent. There can be wide fluctuations in returns in different years. Since stock investment has higher risks, you should never invest all your funds in stocks. Calculate a percentage of your income you should invest in stocks. This can vary depending on your circumstances, but try to be consistent. Bonds. Bonds are debt instruments issued by the government as well as corporations. Bonds are much safer investment options compared to stocks. This is because bonds provide a fixed return on investment. So, bonds are also called fixed income securities. Bonds pay periodic interest payments. The capital invested is returned on the maturity of the bond. Generally, the maturity period of bonds can be as short as 30 days to as long as 30 years. Two main types of bonds are, number one, government bonds, also called gilts, and two, corporate bonds. Government bonds are issued by the government, therefore they are much safer than corporate bonds. However, the return from government bonds tends to be lower than corporate bonds. The current yield of a 10-year UK government bond is 3.495%. There are two main types of government bonds in the UK. Conventional gilts. These are the most common type of government bonds. These bonds pay a fixed interest payment, also called coupon payment, every six months until maturity. Index-linked gilts. These bonds pay a variable interest payment in every period. The interest rate in a period depends on the inflation rate in the UK, so index-linked gilts are great options for protecting your wealth in a high inflation situation. Corporate bonds. These bonds are issued by companies to raise funds. Similar to government bonds, corporate bonds also pay periodic coupon payments and the invested capital is returned on maturity. You can buy government bonds from HM Debt Management Office, DMO, or through a broker. Similarly, you can invest in corporate bonds through brokers or ETFs of investment funds. Pros of bonds. Fixed return. Relatively risk-free. Suitable for risk-averse investors. Cons of bonds. Low return compared to stocks. Not suitable for aggressive investors seeking high returns. Precious metals like gold and silver. Precious metals like gold and silver have been used as investment options for thousands of years. Gold and silver are relatively safe investment options during economic downturns and high inflation. This is why we often call these investment options safe havens. You may have observed that the gold price reached an all-time high at $2,074.88 in August of 2020. Panicked investors sold stocks and bought gold during the onset of the COVID-19 pandemic. Historically, gold has provided an average annual return of 10.6%, whereas stocks have provided an average return of 11.3%. Gold and silver often perform in the opposite direction of other assets like stocks. So, when the stock market is in decline, gold and silver experience price appreciation. Therefore, if you include both stocks as well as gold and silver in your portfolio, you will lower your overall risks. You can invest in gold or silver by directly buying coins or bars. Alternatively, you can invest in gold through a broker, a bank, or through investment funds. Pros of precious metals. Good hedge against economic downturns and high inflation. Conventional investment option. Cons. The average return is relatively low compared to stocks. Final takeaways. Ideally, you should have a diversified portfolio including different types of assets like stocks, bonds, and precious metals. Investment with a long-term view is more profitable than a short-term view. Investment should be made after adequate research and analysis. You should consult with financial advisors whenever you have any doubts or queries. Risk and return have a trade-off. If you seek higher returns, you will have to prepare for a higher risk.